The events of the last year made it difficult for us to meet in person and talk about what we've been working on. So let's take a quick look at some of the major headlines and updates in the pub community since we last met. After seven years, Pub2 has entered maintenance mode and will sunset in 2022. There's never been a better time to start your migration to Pub3. To help with this, there is a new Pub2-3 migration plugin. With the migration plugin, you can migrate existing Pub ISO, RPM and Docker content into their corresponding Pub3 plugins. To reduce the complexity of getting started with Pub3, the Pub team created a single container image that has all the necessary services to run Pub3. If you want to take a quick look at what Pub has to offer, try Pub in a container. For the Pub3 RPM plugin, in the last year, a lot of effort has gone into ensuring feature parity with Pub2. This included dependency solving and complex copy workflows, repo data signing, and also support for import-export processing. As well as this, there have been improvements to how advisories are handled and better support of distribution tree content. A number of key features have been added to the Pulp Container plugin. These include the ability to push container images to the Pulp registry, and also support for OCI media format, as well as the ability to build an OCI format image from a container file and make it available from the Pulp registry. You can now also curate container images by filtering what is mirrored from an external repository. And you can also download container content using on-demand or mirror-on sync options. After eight beta versions released throughout 2020, the first Debian plugin for Pulp3 was released. As part of this effort, the migration of Debian content from Pulp2 to Pulp3 is currently available as a tech preview in the migration plugin. With the latest release of the Pulp Python plugin, as well as many bug fixes and enhancements, you can now mirror the whole of PyPI in just under one hour. The Pulp Circar plugin provides X509 capable content guard that requires clients to submit a certificate proving their entitlement to content before receiving content from Pulp. Pulp 3 was released without a CLI or a web UI, which had a very real impact on its usability. Now the first beta release of the Pulp 3 CLI is available. The further development of the Pulp 3 CLI will have a positive impact on the overall usability of Pulp 3. This year also saw the introduction of Pulp Squeezer, which is a collection of Ansible modules that you can use to fetch, upload, organize and distribute Pulp file, Ansible and Python content. And last but certainly not least, if you're an Ansible user, with the release of Pulp Ansible Galaxy NG, there is now a Pulp plugin that you can use to host your very own Ansible Galaxy server. Thank you very much for your time.